ladles and jelly spoons welcome back to Badger Works. Today this. Uh, this is a smoke machine, one of my reasonably sized smoke machines. Um, I have a project that has come up that requires a smoke machine. I can't use this one because this is for something else so I'm going to make another one. Uh, I know we've covered making smoke machines in the past but I thought it never hurts to have a, a little bit of a refresher. So today we're going to make another small smoke machine. So let's get on with it. So let's talk about power. Uh, what I'm going to use for this is this. Uh, this is an 18650, 3000 milliamp hour. Uh, this is a really nice battery. Uh, this is made by LG um, and it's a 20 amp maximum discharge. Uh, this is a very very powerful 18650, very high quality, costs a lot more than the sort of normal cheapo ones you get but with this sort of thing you do get what you pay for. These are very very good batteries. Um, 3.7 volt which is the standard for an 18650 although what you'll actually find is that any 3.7 volt battery will actually put out 4.4 uh, volts nominal. Um, so yeah, anyway, so that's our battery. Got a little box here to, uh, to build the thing in. Um, now I can use smaller boxes in this, but the reason I'm using a box this size is because the outlet for this particular smoke machine will be this. This is a 10 millimeter copper pipe fitting, so that will go there somewhere, um, and that will take the smoke out. The reason I'm using this is because the project that I'm doing requires the smoke to go down a piece of 10 millimeter conduit. So I need something that will fit in there like that so I can just plug that in and it's done. So that's that. Uh, we've got a 5 volt, so you can actually see it now, a 5 volt uh, 20 millimeter fan. So that will go there to push the smoke out. And that's pretty much it. Uh, a few other little ancillaries. Um, I've got a piece of aluminium tape here. Um, this is basically sticky backed tin foil, if you like. Uh, I like to put this on the inside of the box because it just reflects the heat away. This is a plastic box. Um, I have uh, a bit of scrap of um, some mesh from an old cheap frying pan splash guard and the reason I have that is when I drill the hole for the fan I put that on the inside and it stops the uh, anything splashing up out of the fan and last but by no means least we need a heating element now because this is running at such a low voltage we're going to use one of these uh, these are vape coils as you can see this is a big box of vape coils um, when I first started doing this I wasn't sure what I needed so I thought the easiest thing to do would be to buy a box of them and try them out. Uh, the one we're actually going to use is, uh, where is it? Can't remember which one it is now. <laughs> I think it's one of these. Um, but anyway, it's one of the, one of the, the 0.36 ohm coils, that's what we're going to use. Um, so yeah, so there's that. Now I have already made the heater to test it. Um, so I've got here a bit of a 700 watt cable wire. Um, just going into a terminal block at the moment. And then the coil is on there and there's a piece of something stuck through the end. That is this it's um, I believe it's known as Japanese linen um, but it's basically what you use to make wicks in vape coils and stuff like that so it's a piece of that now to show you how this works I have here a small pot of vegetable glycerin you can use vape fluid this stuff's cheaper uh, and what I'm going to do is I am going to attach one end in a very safe fashion using my fingers. Attach that to that end. And yay! <laughs> there we have smoke, you see. 
So that's going to be our heater element. Oh. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll put this to one side somewhere very carefully and let it cool down and we'll start working on the box. Right, so we're going to start with our box uh, first. Um, tip the screws out. I have already taken the liberty of lining the inside of it with the aluminium tape. Uh, it's not perfectly lined, it's just the majority of it is lined. And the reason I do that, and it's, it's by no means obligatory, but I like to do it, um, it reflects the heat back into the box and it, it helps save the plastic a little bit from getting too hot. Um, so there's that. Now what we need to do is mark out where our fittings are going to go on our lid. So we've got two things we've got to put on the lid. We've got to put this fitting and we've got to put this fan. So basically like that-ish. So what I'm going to do first of all is mark where the uh, fitting needs to go and then I'll mark out where the fan needs to go. I could measure this but I'm just going to eyeball it. Eyeball? Eyeball it. Right, so that's that. Now, to mark where the fan needs to go, uh, I'm actually going to kind of cheat a little bit. Um, because I do this a lot, I made this. This is a template. Uh, it's a piece of aluminium, 20 millimeter square, and it has all the holes marked for where everything needs to go. So basically, we just put that where we want the fan to be, like that. Make sure it's roughly in the middle. And then just mark the holes. And there we go. So what I'll do now is I'll take this and drill the holes in it. And uh, then we'll come back and put it together. Right, so uh, here's a view of the workshop we don't see very often. This is my uh, Record Power DP58B drill press. Um, I... Uh, I've had this for years, I love it, it's a fantastic bit of kit. Um, I have no affiliation with Record Power, but they do make nice tools. Um, so, for our lid, uh, what we're going to do first, I've got a 3 mil bit in the chuck, and I'm going to drill out these five holes, um, and then put a centre hole for our uh, fitting, and then we'll switch bits and make some different holes. Now, as ever, when you're using power tools, eye protection, ear protection, all the rest of it, do not wear gloves, uh, no long hair, no long sleeves, no jewellery, be safe. It only takes a second to lose a finger, so it's just not worth it. So I didn't realise until after I filmed this that, of course, you can't really see what I'm doing, so I do apologise for that. Um, if this is the kind of thing you guys want to see, I'll have to figure out a, a better way of... Uh, of, of filming this kind of thing, uh, a better place to put the camera. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. So there we go, there's our holes drilled to start with. Um, now you might be wondering why there's, I've done, done a small hole in the middle. Uh, well it's basically a, to act as a pilot hole so I can drill out the bigger hole and we'll do that next. And to do that I'm going to use this. This is a um, step drill in a, in a fashion. Uh, I don't actually have a step drill, I have a set of these. Um, they're conical drills and as you can see they have markings on them, I don't know whether you can see those or not, but uh, basically goes from 8mm up to 20mm. Uh, there are others in the set. So here we have one that goes from 3mm uh, to 14mm and this one goes from 16mm to 30mm. So basically we use a combination of these to drill out the holes we need um, for our fans and all the rest of it. Right, now for the fun bit, <laughs> drilling out this big hole. Uh, yeah, once again, uh, apologies for the camera angle. Um, I'll have to find a way of mounting the camera so you can see what's going on a little bit better. Otherwise, this is a little bit pointless. 
Right, so there's our hole for the fan. It doesn't need to be exactly the same size as the fan, as long as there's enough room for the air to go in. Uh, now we're going to switch to the slightly smaller bit and drill a hole for the uh, pipe fitting. That needs to be a lot more precise. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, I've, I've swapped to the smaller bit now and uh, I'm drilling out the hole for the pipe fitting to go in, uh, being very, very careful to get the size right on this one. Now what I like to do is when I get near to the size that I want is just make sure I've got this piece on hand and I can just try it, obviously it's still too small, and I can just kind of creep up on it until we get the size hole that we want. One of the things to keep in mind with this type of drill is it does leave a, a slightly tapered hole. So you need to take that into account when you're drilling for something like this, that there will be a slight bevel on the hole. Right, so after a bit of wailing and gnashing of teeth, we've got that drilled out. And now this is a nice tight fit in there, um, so it won't fall out. Now we can go back and put the uh, rest of the box together. Right, so we're going to fit our fan now. So what we want to do before we do anything else is take this piece of uh, mesh and cut it to size. So we'll just put it roughly where it needs to be. And just put a little bend in it there. You just cut this with scissors. This uh, is supposedly stainless steel. I doubt it very much. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's beside the point. Um, so what I'm going to do is just put this over the holes, the screw holes, and then I'm going to take this uh, braddle and just push it through. And what that does is it just makes a hole for the screw to go through, just moves the, the, the metal out of the way. Like that, just do a couple to start with. Then we take our screws, these are M3 by 15 mil machine screws. Put a washer on it, pop it through the hole, it's a bit snug because of the mesh, there it goes. Drop the fan over the outside, put the nut on, just do it up loose for now. Right, so that's our fan screwed on, um, just need to check, it's always a good idea to check things as you go along, make sure everything's spinning freely and whatnot. There we go, that works. So what I'm going to do now is put a little bit of foil just over the inside here. So I'll just cut a little piece off of this bit here. Again, it doesn't have to be exact, just, just roughly the right size. There we go. And then we just take a knife and just run it around the inside of the hole. And that cleans that out. Now one more thing we need to do with this top is we need to drill a hole on each side for the wires to go through for the heating element. So to do that I'll just use the hand drill. There we go. So now we can actually start putting this together. So, now obviously that won't fit through there like that, so we need to uh, dismantle this for a second. Just take that out, pop it over there. OK, 
Okay. So I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to push it through the holes like that. And I'll put the other one through the other side like that. And push them through quite a way so that we've got enough space to work. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the insulation away from this terminal block. Like this. Push that out of there. Helicopter on the way. <sighs> so now pop that in there. that in there then we take our heater and we pop one end in there the other end in there double check that's working that's working now careful not to touch the element now because it's hot pull the wires back through Not all the way, just a bit. And I like to bend the wires around the fan like that and it just holds it all in place. Then we drop the other end into the box. And that's basically it. So what I'm going to do is I'll put a little bit of fluid in there and then we'll see if it works. So what I'm doing now is I'm just connecting the uh, fans together, the wires together for the fan and the element at the moment because we're going to run them off of one battery. Um, in the project these are going into, they will actually be running off of separate batteries. So the fan will be running off of one and the heater will be running off another. Well that's the plan anyway. Okay, let's just give that a little try first. This is not the ideal way to do this really. Right, everything's working. So let's pop that down, screw the lid down. Not the screwdriver I want. That's the screwdriver I want. Right, let's give it a little poke and see what happens. Unfortunately, you probably can't see that very well because of the white background, but it is actually blowing out the smoke. 
Uh, hang on a minute, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's try, let's try something. Ah, that's more like it. There we go. <laughs> there, <laughs> there is actually a lot more coming out of there than it looks. It's just again, because of the, the light and the background, it looks a bit rubbish. Um, but uh, anyway, so there we go. Another little smoke machine for a project that you will be seeing in an upcoming video. So um, yeah, I hope this has been of interest to some of you. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.